Need help getting healthy this year? Well, we'll be joined by YouTube blogger and star Hench Herbivore to share the positives of a vegan lifestyle. There we go. <laughs> well, if you intend to in your resolution making, unlike yours, then you may have made the ever popular resolution, the dreaded commitment to get fit and eat healthy. Yes, but with so many of us giving in to the cravings and not managing to see the year through, just how do we keep our eating plans on track? Well, with the growing popularity of veganism and the proposed benefits, could this be the answer? And here to talk us through what this could actually mean and how to go about it, we welcome YouTube blogger and star, the hench herbivore, a.k.a. Paul Curtin. <laughs> you in a resolution. Have you made any? Go on. I haven't this year. Go on, go on, let's see. The joys of touching a horse could await you. I like horses. <laughs> Record a debut single. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will do, but I'm busy trying to save the world. Okay, save the world first. Saving the world. Then, then I'll do then it. Do the, then do the dance for the music video. You're in. So in. You're in. <laughs> now, we That's should say welcome back because we've talked to you on this topic before, yeah. but it seems to be a really big deal this year. There's yeah. Veganuary. That's it's a twice thing. as popular as last year. I know a lot of my friends are doing a kind of vegan yeah. month to kind of kick things off. Yeah. So why do you think it's getting more popular and why do you think it's so important? Well, there's, there's a whole host of reasons why it's important. I mean, it's disease preventative and reversing. The American College of Cardiology says if all... Uh, LDL cholesterol is 57 milligrams per deciliter or less, we're heart attack proof. So I guess I went vegan for health, but I'm a vegan activist, I'm just trying to show the world, you know. And it kind of seems bad. to be that the more you read about it, the more research you do, yeah. the more it's kind of morally the right thing to be doing as yeah. well as health-wise. But you were yeah. saying there are two different types of, yeah. of veganism really. So yeah. what, you mentioned whole foods. So I'm a big fan of whole foods, which means fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nut seeds herbs, spices, foods as they come in nature, and that's what we've eaten historically, and that's what makes us the most well. Of course, if people are going vegan maybe to save the environment, or, you know, for the sake of the animals, and they're not so worried about health, then there are other options mm. now, readily available all over the place. And we should say that from a health perspective, of course, talk to your doctor. They yeah. will give you kind of lots of advice, especially about the kind of heart disease and the yeah. cholesterol thing. But for things that you can quite easily start to change at home, yeah. um, where does it begin? What, what kind of things? So carbohydrates, proteins, it would be proteins yeah. for me, I yeah. think, that I'd worry about. Well, you're a big guy and you, yeah. I presume, you eat a lot and you, you gym a lot, so yeah. particularly the protein intake, how easy is that to get into your diet every day? It's virtually impossible. If you're eating whole foods, it's impossible not to eat really adequate protein because anything that's been alive by definition has protein in it. For a bodybuilder, if they're really going to extremes, then they want to um, eat more of the legumes, you know, like um, beans, lentils, chickpeas, that sort of thing. Grains are good, particularly quinoa. It's a really 60 grams of protein per 100 grams dry weight. Um, yeah. And the worry is, I suppose, that it will get a little bit boring, but we're going to be touching on recipes and things later yeah. on in the show. Where do people start, though? Breakfast, I guess. <laughs> start at the beginning of the day. But yeah. is, it, is it first, is it research for you? Did you have to look yeah. up loads of things? Yeah, because we are worried. We are told these things. You need meat for protein, you need meat for calcium. But any whole, any uh, ne uh, um, essential nutrient in animals came from plants originally. We're just getting it second hand. It's a bit like eating mud because we need the water. You know, we don't need to eat animals mm. to get, because we don't need the cholesterol, saturates, trans fats, artificial and natural hormones. Um, okay, I feel yeah. like there's absolutely loads to learn. Yeah, there is so much more to learn. Yeah. Paul, stay where you are because we're going to talk to you some more in part two. We're going to try some food as well, aren't we? But he's still with us and he's about to talk some recipe suggestions and he's even brought along some vegan food to let us have a try. Mm. Hello, Hello. Well, welcome back. Thank you for once again bringing snacks. Yes. Now, last time it was protein balls. Yes. And they were delicious. I, I didn't have try to them. I know, no, they were so I've good heard. though. I was really surprised. Does this happen to you quite a lot where you're like, just try it, mm. and then it turns out to be lovely? Oh, yes. Because most people, they just don't believe that well, vegan food is going to taste nice. This is the thing. Yeah. So, over the past year, my younger brother and his <coughs> girlfriend have, have gone vegan, and you know, it, I, I didn't know anyone who'd ever gone vegan before. And yeah. I went obviously to see him at Christmas time, and we had lots of vegan food, which obviously I've never tried before, and it is. You know, yeah. really tasty. I know you shouldn't yeah. kind of be surprised by it, but yeah. there shouldn't be that much of a difference. Really, when we, when we meet, tastes. we smother it in plants, whether it be a tomato sauce, herbs, spices, 
It's all from True. plants, to be honest. You know. And so what have we got here? What have you brought right. in for us? Because they're, they're masquerading as meat. They look like meat, but yeah. they're of course not. So these are available uh, all in Norwich locally. So this one from Beer Kitchen on the market is a beetroot burger. Okay. And so. it's got. It's even got a great kind of meaty colour, which I know is an odd yeah. thing to say. <laughs> but it, it, I mean... It's interesting that it still looks like meat. Mm. The texture is even kind of interestingly yeah. uh, meaty, but it's going to be completely vegan. Yeah. And what about the sausage rolls? What's sausage you know? rolls, they're from Tofurai, which is the UK's first ve artisan vegan dairy and cafe. They're really popular in China. This is the first UK one. Right they're, here in Norwich. They're the Norwich first. Oh, they're cool. So they make these tofu-based uh, sausage rolls. Um, and then... I'm done. Yeah. Eat it, eat it. Okay, do you want go, burger or sausage roll? Um, I want to go sausage roll. Okay, you do that. I'm going to try, try the burgers. Um, and so if you are trying to do this, you are dropping crumbs everywhere. Oh, if you're messy. trying to do this at home, <laughs> yeah. what kind of things do you need in the pantry as kind of staple? What goes into everything you make? I'm going to take a bite of this one. So I personally don't really make this kind of food. So this is the more normal end of, of <laughs> eating. <laughs> That was really good. Thanks. I never get better at eating on camera. <laughs> Awful. It's not mm. easy stuff. Oh, it's really nice. But you can make burgers from whole foods with quinoa, beans, things, herbs, spices. Uh, brilliant recipe on my YouTube channel, quinoa yeah. and chickpea burgers. And also we can brilliant. find more stuff yeah. from you on your YouTube yeah. channel. So do you want to give that a little plug before we kind of let you go? Yeah. So uh, YouTube slash Hen Shepherdvore is my, my channel. And, we're going to look um, and you've got some recipe videos. 600 videos, recipes, what I eat in a day. And just tutorials. You're yeah. so knowledgeable. Lastly, these are great. And these are kind yeah, of little one. snack bars, yeah. white almond candy bars. These are the le le less healthy end of vegan. Yeah. But for people who are trying to eat just to save the planet and the animals, not so worried about health, you, you can get anything. This is from the little shop of vegans, newly opened on Magdalen Street in Norwich. And it's all so that, well. All we're so well equipped. Listen, yeah. thank you so yeah, much for coming you so in. You've taught us thank absolutely you. loads. Thank that burger is great. I like the sausage roll. Delicious. Good. We're going to eat those in a minute. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is all we've got time for uh, on tonight's show. But good luck eating healthily if that is what you're trying to do at the beginning of this new year. And if you do decide to venture to veganism or make any of Paul's food, then please get in touch. We want to see your photos. I love pictures how of How do you ask? How can we get how, in touch? Oh, how, how can you get in touch, Jake? Well, you can head over to our Facebook page, Twitter or Instagram, and if you're feeling like it, you can even email us. That is production at mustardtv.co.uk.